Hello, this is a training video explaining how to use the 360 safe tool in Hub. So, uh, first of all, we need to get to the Hub web page. Um, that is by, um, done by just Googling or searching for Hub Wales, um, and it will bring you to this home page, landing page. The next thing we need to do is log in. So mine's pre filled, but uh, every school teacher and pupil in Wales has got their own hub passwords. Uh, they, these can be accessed via uh, myself um, or via the support team in hub. Uh, so we go through, we log in, and the next thing we're going to do is this is the, the landing page. It looks very similar, but now we've got access to these tools at the top. Um, and for those of you that are unfamiliar with them, we've got the hub, VL, hub plus VLE firm section. Office 365, just two easy suite of tools, uh, Britannica, um, so I can do Britannica, 360 tool, and the um, playlist tool there. Um, you can toggle between English and Welsh from here, um, and then you've got, like I said, the landing page, you have lots of information and news on it, not least the 360 um, training events that are going on. Okay, so moving into the workshop tool, um, so we go up here and we click on 360. That takes us to this page here. Now I've been um, using using this um, in, in some respects in school, um, and then also as a training for training purposes. So you can see currently where uh, I've been using this as a dummy account where it currently is, and that's not going to matter for today because today I'm going to take you through the various sections on um, here and just showing you how it works. So um, I suppose the question that lots of schools ask is why is this an important tool? Um, it's important because there actually isn't another tool like it. This is being endorsed, as you can see down here, by the Welsh Government um, and provided by the South, uh, Southwest Grid for Learning. Um, and it really is um, an excellent tool for auditing e-safety in a school um, and beyond that, developing action plans and, and really usefully for schools also giving them materials that they can they can use um, and ideas that they can use, policies, etc. Okay, so um, we'll just go through, through a couple of these. You've got your landing page <laughs> and there are a couple of links on here um, asking you where you are. But we're, we're going to look at this. So you've got a start and overview um, guide here. Um, and that gives you a quick um, overview of uh, what it looks like. You can actually print that off if you want um, and, and stick it up for uh, staff to see. We're going through some of the other um, tools there. We've got news, case studies. There's some interesting case studies there. Template policy is really useful for schools. Um, you click on that and it'll take you through to the, the policy section. Um, we've got a review section here. So this is an, an overview. If you've gone beyond beginning a review, um, you, every time you come back into the site, it will um, allow you to re-evaluate each of the, uh, of the different um, aspects and elements. Um, so we can see there's policy and leadership, infrastructure, education and standards, and there are subsections within each of those. Then we can look at the accreditation process, and you can decide if you want to go through um, with that. Um, there are kind of three elements to the um, accreditation process, um, the certificate of commitment, certificate of progress, and then actually getting the uh, the safety mark. There's a couple of schools in the US region that have managed to achieve the, um, the e-safety mark. Um, and then finally, really usefully, 90% um, of the questions people have, probably more than that, 95% of the questions people have can be answered here. So without needing to contact myself or without needing to contact somebody from uh, from the Hub team, you'll be able to, or the Southwest Grid for Learning team, you'll be able to respond to most of the questions here yourself. Here you've got your start guide over here as well. Which didn't want to hold up on that occasion. Okay, so let's pretend um, that we want to want to begin this process. Go back to the home page and we're going to go to begin review. Now you can see on here the four different um, elements, the a level of attainment within each of those and any aspects within each of those as well. So the four different elements, policy and leadership. Then we have infrastructure, education and, and standards. <coughs> The, uh, the blue line is the current level of attainment for school, so you can see where I've gone through and added information in. And then, as I've said, for policy and leadership, there are 15 different aspects, um, of which 15 have been completed here. So if I click on policy and leadership. Within policy and leadership, then we have the three subsections, responsibilities, policies, and communication. 
Let's have a look at policies. Okay, so for policies we have got seven different aspects and you're given a question and you have to, uh, sorry, you're, you're given an aspect and you have to decide what statement best fits your school's current situation. So from there is no e-safety policy in place right the way up to this strand here where the school has an e-safety policy which is effective and meets the school's safeguarding. Now, let's suppose that you're a school that says, well actually, do you know what, we don't have an e-safety policy in place. That's a concern, but it's not the end of the world. Down here we have policies that schools can download and use. So if I just open this up very quickly, this is an example policy put together. It's very current, reflective of current practice um, and up to date. And this is uh, put together by Southwest Grid for Learning and schools can tweak this accordingly for their own purposes and needs. But it's incredibly comprehensive. Um, it's a, I think it's a 69 page document in, in total. Um, and it covers absolutely everything that a school would ever need to consider from an e-safety point of view. Okay, so we're going through and we can build up um, our picture. So we've done that section, then we can move on to the second aspect, third aspect, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. So we've been through that and we can go back then to policy and leadership here. And we can go and look in another section, responsibilities, and go on and so forth with that. Now, once I've gone through that process, and it might be that it takes a day or half a day, um, we're in court involving SLT and, and several different uh, people inputting into this, you can start to build up a, a much bigger picture of where the school is. You might need to go, you're going to need to go for all of these different sections and uh, read the statements and see where you are. Once you've been through all of that, you can then generate a progress report. And you can do this at any point. It takes a minute to generate. Okay, so here we go. We can see now that Mount Pleasant currently for the whole of the, uh, the accreditation process. So we're looking at policy and leadership, responsibilities, RAG rated ourselves as a two, um, and then it's giving, and we can enter our own evidence and next steps and, uh, and evidence, but it also offers us with um, offers us some really useful recommendations. Uh, it is like that for the whole framework. So it's got a whole, um, whole amount of, of recommendations and improvements and descriptions for the whole framework. Now, if you decide that you would like to go for one of the accreditation marks, which would be this down here, the safety mark, as a school you need to hit, and you can see the little symbol there, you would need to hit a minimum of two across the board. So if you're in a three, you're going to have to do something to move the school forward on that. So as an example, it says the school has any safety group with staff representative, um, with staff representation and clear brief. So if a school doesn't have any safety group, then it can't rate itself as a, as a two. It's going to need to do something about that. Mention about adding evidence. Adding evidence, current position, that can all be entered here. And it automatically saves. So as a snapshot, that in essence is the um, is the safety tool. It's a very simple tool to use. More importantly, it asks you the questions that you need to answer around e-safety. If you need any further information, please contact me, Andrew Rothwell, S E Wales E A S dot org dot UK.